Hi everyone, it's Gail. And while it's Scrappy Saturday, I am going to do my uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge from Rachel at Roxy's Creation because it's going to fit in just perfectly with um, scraps. So uh, let's say hi and hugs first. Quick like we will say hi and hugs to Darlene, Christine, Jacqueline, and Pat. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. And so what I have here is I have both my trays of scraps, my little ones and my bigger ones. I also have some things that I've printed. These are from Antique Papery, and I can't tell you that she still has these. I got a bunch of her retired digitals, and I think these might be some of them. I have Rachel's English Garden Kit 1 because I love it and it's so fun to play with. I have on the way craft shop, I have her patchwork pieces. And then I have my own digitals here um, that I might use too. So that's what I have. So I'll be using scraps and making scraps. And today we're doing window envelope pockets. I love these and um, I'm so excited that we're that we're doing these. So I have some coffee dyed, some non-coffee dyed. I already have them cut, but I am keeping all the off cuts because Rachel said we'd do something with those later. So I'll put those over here. If we need more than this amount of envelopes, I have more over there that we can cut and use. So let's see. Let's get started. Let's see. I would be five after one about. So um, let's get started. Let's say our 45 minutes starts now. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. What am I going to do? I have a lot of strips too. Like I have a lot of strips. So I need some glue pages. Here I thought I was all organized. Glue stick. Okay. We are on this. Um, so yeah, I was excited to see this was Rachel's project because, um, it is one of my favorites. And, uh, so we'll just see how many we can get completely done and, um, and decorated and all of that. So I'm starting off really good. I feel fumbly. <laughs> Which, ooh, that's really pretty. I like that better. Okay. Um, yeah, so I really do love, love making these, so I was tickled. So we'll just make up a bunch and have them on hand. It'll be so good. Oh, wait. I better, I better line the back with something and... I like Rachel's idea of going ahead and making it easier on yourself and just cutting the envelope and then putting something down. Okay, let's let's do one of our fun things. Okay, so what I would like is this clock like that. Wouldn't that be pretty? So where do about do I have to have to tear that um, here-ish? I'm excited to make more scraps. <laughs> I try to use them up and then I'm just excited to make more. It's so silly, but it's always fun to see kind of how your how your scraps, you know, where you use them and how they how they do. I do have to say I love antique papery for collaging. It's one of my favorites. Um and then I also love I also love Rachel's digitals, but um, but yeah. When I saw this paper, I thought, "Ooh, that clock would be yummy if showing through a window." And then the first one I grabbed. Now let's see. I cut these. Yeah, I tried to cut them so that they were like maybe five and a quarter inches or so because I do mostly um, six inch wide journals. So yeah, 
Okay, we're just going to go ahead and pop that down. Oh, isn't that fun? Yay. Okay. Um, what else do I have for strips? I, I seriously do. I have a lot of strips. Look at that. goes just right there. I'm just going to tear off the end so it's not quite so perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I watched Rachel's video for this week's challenge last night before I went to sleep. And you know, that's always a bad idea because I just wanted to come to my craft room is all. Um, but yeah. Okay. What else do we have? We have this. Not quite wide enough. We'll save that for something else. Um, yeah, just I have a lot of strips of coffee dyed paper, which that looks kind of neat there. Um, from gosh, what did I do that? Oh, I did my my Francis Brundage digitals. I backed them with my coffee dyed paper and um they are they're less than an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper and so um it it left me with some strips which is perfect for this project we need strips I'm just gonna go kind of halfway there So we have warmed up considerably in our neck of the woods. It's 27 today. <laughs> it's a heat wave. <laughs> That'd be Fahrenheit that I'm talking. So yeah, but it feels super warm out there. Mike went out to um, sweep off our back sidewalks and the wind is blowing and it's blowing the snow out of the trees. And I said, I don't know that you're going to be making much headway to that right now. But, you know, go ahead. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Woohoo. We're going to have one decorated with the back pages. And I think I'm going to do the back pages or, um, you know, back the pages or collage on the the envelopes, I guess, would be a better way to say it. I'm going to collage on them, and then um, and then we'll glue them and do any other decorating. But in a way, I think that's kind of done. Maybe a word or something right there. I don't know. Okay. This is a weird one. It's a weird envelope. So this is going to go up and down because it's so tall. I mean, the window is so big. I'm going to undo it so I can put my background paper in. And this is going to go up and down. So, what do I have? Um, I'm feeling like maybe, maybe some of Rachel's flowers behind there would be really nice. Let's see. I almost don't need to tear that off on the bottom, but I think I will just because. And I can use the other side. So, yeah, nice weather here today. Had a little trip to the post office. Boy, did I hit it great. There was one guy ahead of me. Can you believe that? I had to take Laurel's... Um, journal that she won in my Patreon giveaway to the post office. So got that done. So it always feels good when a giveaway or something like that is complete, you know. Um, so right about in there somewhere. Look how pretty that is. Um... Pop that in there. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, and where do we want to? Maybe about right here. 
Okay. So yeah, it was it was perfect timing. It's just like, oh my gosh. There's a lady, um, I followed her out and she went through the door with her arm up like this, which is what I do too. And I said to her, remember when we used to touch a door without even thinking about it? <laughs> she goes, yeah, times have changed. I'm like, they sure have. Oh my gosh, it was funny, but okay, what I want to do, I think, is put this down there and then put this down. And I didn't get much of my butterfly, but that's okay. Got pretty flowers, real pretty flowers. Okay, strips, oh stuff. I have this fun strip that's not big enough for there, but it is. It is big enough for here. And you're probably wondering why I'm not inking. I mean, sometimes I do ink as I go on collaging, but, but hey, we're under time constraints. So, I will just... Go with the uninked. I can always ink around the edge later on. Okay. Kind of like that there. Oh, you know, the other thing I was going to grab and forgot is I was going to grab Rachel's, some of Rachel's, um, Vintage letters. I have those. Um, I have some of those on coffee dyed paper, and they're kind of fun to collage with too. They're right behind me. I can quickly grab them. Okay, I didn't get clear over there, but that's okay. We'll do that with this. That's still too small. <laughs> Hasn't grown. It's still too small. Oh, but look, here's one. Here's one that will work. Yes, it will. It's actually a bit big, not too much. Um, went ahead and did that, and now I can't cover up my my boo boo there. I'm not covering up a whole lot with it's a little bit wide but not too bad so I'm just gonna do this and then if it's too long we'll cut it off I've had a couple people say that they don't they don't their bills are all online so they don't get window envelopes our bills are all online too but we still get them solicitations. This one was Social Security, our investment place. Yeah, it's still, we get them still. Ooh, look at this cute one. I think I'll put that there. That was just in my, in my scrap bin, so I did use an actual scrap. Okay, and then I just need a little square of something. Now I have this, but it's too, too bright. That's good. Once again, I think on these time things, making a quick decision is key. <laughs> not, not ruminating over which piece to, to grab or which piece to do. there. Ooh, that's a pretty one. And of course, it'll have a tag or something, but when you take the tag out, it'll have a pretty background. Let's do a coffee dyed one for fun. I got my coffee dyed window envelopes from MK Maz on Etsy. Okay, 
So I'm thinking I want to leave a little of the coffee dyed, but not too much. What looks, what do I have here? Ooh, that's pretty. Um, let's do this side. Okay. I think I'd like something kind of in there. Let's take this off while we have a whole piece. Yeah, might as well just might as well just do it. I thought about ripping them all before we started, but then I didn't. And I didn't. See, I don't need anything behind this one. That's kind of nice. This is going to be a little bit wide, but I'll just fold it over the back. This is going to be tall ways. So, I do... Actually, I'm going to tear, tear that edge so that the coffee dye shows through a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I got, got down at my belly there. Um, what else do we have? That's fun. It's got a little writing that says, love is kind. It does not. I'm sure it's the Bible verse, but it doesn't, it doesn't continue. <laughs> so, okay, I'll put that there. Have any of you watched the latest season of This Is Us? You'll have to let me know in the comments and how you liked it and stuff. I I haven't started haven't started watching it yet. And um just tear that a little more jiggy jaggy. Um and I haven't started watching it yet. And I keep thinking every night, but then I end up watching crafting videos or something. <laughs> so I haven't watched it. And I, I watch it at night because Mike's not a fan like I am. Okay, I have those little vintage pieces of paper all over my fingers. I love that just the way it is. I'm going to pop it down that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's do this one. It's going to be a sideways one. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do one with some of this. Um, some of these is that could go that way. on the inside. I feel like it's a little dark. What else do we have? Ooh. How about this one? Because <laughs> I've got scraps that are 
migrating out of my basket here. Um, actually, yep, I do need to. Okay. Now I'm having a moment of thinking where I like one of my digitals behind that. Those colors go well. Okay. Change of plans. I literally could do this all day. I just think it's so much fun. Yep, Scrappy Saturday is definitely sometimes making scraps <laughs> as much as it is using them. But, you know, it's interesting, sort of my my tolerance level for the scraps. It's like, and or my insecurity level. It's like, there comes a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have any, or I don't have any scraps that I want to use. I guess it is more that, that than I don't have enough scraps. I think it's just that I'm not finding anything that I'm like, ooh, this should go here, you know? So... Once again, I'm just going to lay this down on the window, flip that closed, give it a smoosh, and there's what we have behind. Okay, so up here, I want to do this. And again, I think I'll just tear it, and I can... Um, And fold it over a little bit. Okay. window. Just fold it over a little bit. That's all good. Okay, that is skinny. Let's see here. Yes, finally found a spot for it. Okay. gouged out my glue. Why do I do that? Don't do it on purpose. Could have folded that over too, I guess, but okay. So now I need a skinny mini right across there. Ooh, look at this one. Oh yeah. That's good, except I want, of course I want the middle of it. I'm going to keep those itty-bitty bits, though, just in case. Oh, man, time is flying. Okay, itty-bitty piece across there of something. It's okay, and I'm using up that scrap. So I'm thinking in about, let's see, did I say 10 after? I did, 10 after. So in about 10 minutes, we're going to start decorating because otherwise these won't be done done. 
you know, it takes longer than you think it would. Okay, that. I'd like something kind of plain there so I can put some sort of a... And do I want anything in the back? I don't really want the white. So, I have this I could put in there. I think I can do that without cutting it. I'm going to get rid of that piece of paper. It's got the big glob on it. I don't remember how many of these Rachel got done. Not that it's a contest. <laughs> As my son, my husband would say to our kids, everything isn't a contest. Okay, good enough. Did that. Okay, um, this I want to have go right there. Um, yeah, so I don't remember how many she got done. So I'm not under any not under any pressure to achieve the level of Rachel's greatness. <laughs> and she is great. I love her. Okay. Just gonna fold this over, maybe. Since it's already glued, it's not as easy to do. But we got it. Ooh, that's just all sorts of florally and fun, isn't it? Okay. Don't really want that. Um, how about we haven't done any book page? How about we do a little book page? That didn't work very well. <laughs> okay, this paper really doesn't tear on the tear ruler extremely well. So we'll just, just eyeball this kind of and just tear it right here by hand. Oh, that was funny. I have I have strips. I need to just unbury them. About this strip. Okay, that's just fine. And of course, we will continue for the hour. We won't be done just because I get done with this. Ooh, nope. Um, that's cute. another one down and then I think we better do another coffee dyed one for fun that there okay there's another one How about this one this one's gonna go up and down and I don't need to do the back because I like the coffee dyeing um,
Ooh, that might be nice there. I'm going to go all the way up there because it's not very coffee dyed at the top there. I like how they crinkle though when they're coffee dyed because the it makes the um, window really crinkly too. And I think I'd like to do one. Oh gosh. Um, I'd like to do one with Rachel's papers too. Oh, I love that. That little rose right there. Yes, yes, yes to that. Okay. something up that away. Yep, 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 yep. Here it is. Okay, and then I think I want a little something along the top there where it's not as coffee dyed. And that is it right there. You know, when you rip something wrong, rip or cut or whatever, it's not like you can't use it somewhere else, right? Okay, snip that little bit off. Ooh, I love that one too. I love the coffee dyed. Yeah, that's really fun. Okay, I think I'll do this one with some of Rachel's. Where are your digitals, Rachel? Here they are like on there. Oh, we got to cover up the inside on this one. That piece would be just right, wouldn't it? Yep, I think I can get that in there without cutting. And then we're going to glue and start decorating because And I will probably finish these other two that I have over here, but um, I'll just show them to you in the next video or something. In there. Yeah, famous last words, I can get it in there. There we go. Oh, I like that. It's kind of, it's a bit um, subdued. Oh. I want these flowers. As Rachel said, she was, I think she was using some Tracy Fox digitals or something, and she said, I don't even need to decorate that. That's the work was done for me. Or maybe that was Wendy that said that. I think so. Um, 
in a w video I watched recently, she said, you know, I don't really need to do anything to this because <laughs> it's already collaged. Isn't it grand, though, that you can just, you run out of your favorite digital, you just print another one. I do love it. Okay, I'm going past my time of when I wanted to start decorating. <laughs> but I'm bound and determined to get this one covered, too. It's okay. It's okay. Even if I only got one decorated, well, I would have gotten one decorated, right? Okay. Um, what do we have? I'm going to use all of that. It's on good paper, so it's a little harder to tear than copy paper. Okay. my husband walking around up there he's done sweeping apparently or he decided that it was futile <laughs> I don't know which. Ooh, look at this look at this that I found poking out of my scrap bin yes please to the pretty pink paper Then I just need one little bit across the top here. Yep, I'll just fold that over and we'll be done. We'll be to the decorating phase of this project. Okay. Okay, okay, we might need that. Let's do it. So how many do we have here? We have two, four, six, seven. So I don't know. Okay, so let's look at the ones that we don't think need anything. If there is any. I think I love the simplicity of this one. So I'm going to leave that as is. This one can be as is, and this one, I just want a word on it. So I'm gonna look at my uh, jewel design words and see if there's something that grabs me. Well, there was, and I had a hold of it, and now I lost it. <laughs> Shoot, there, there it is was imagine. I'm just going to put that over there and that'll be good. Oh, we have to um, glue them all too. So there's that. And we've got like 12 minutes to, to decorate. By my estimation. I haven't been bringing my iPad down because I have to remember to do it. <laughs> I don't. So, oh, well, let's put it upside down. Okay, imagine right there is perfect. So let's glue this. And we'll have one done. <laughs> so we can say we got one completed. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's very fun. Okay, that's while I have my art glitter glue out, I'm gonna 
let's see this one opens at the top so we're just going to put a little here and here and close that one up and that one's done because that one actually i might put a butterfly right there so that one's not done but that one's already glued this one needs to be glued how needs to be glued on the sides here okay and this one just needs glue on the side They're all curly because the glue was the glue stick was wet and only on one side. You know how it does that. But easily flattened. Okay, and then we need these two glued. Unless that one's glued already. And so is that one. Yay! Okay. So said I want a butterfly on this one so let's do that um, num, 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 num. kind of a butterfly I'm more worried about size than I am color at this point that's it see that's what you do you just decide <laughs> you just say okay good enough Good enough. We're going for it. Okay, come here, buddy. You know, he's stuck to the paper now. Okay, so there's that one. Done. Um, This one, I was thinking, needed like a label right there. Of some sort. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab. I have Tracy's... Um, what are they called? Fabric swatches, ones, or something like that. Love it. Easy peasy. I feel like the, uh, the coffee dyed ones are definitely quicker. Because, you know, you just don't have to cover the whole thing. Okay. What else? Oh, I know what I wanted to use. I cut all these flowers from the um, On The Way craft shop. Cut them out of her botanicals and I was thinking that could be fun. I think I like it on one of these. That one, I think. Okay, I do have to. I do have to distress that though a little bit. So Rachel. An idea for one of your challenges could be making something without <laughs> without distressing for those of us who seem to have to. Okay. Oh, I got about five minutes. I think we're going to get these done. That's me just being the eternal optimist. I'm trying to make sure I didn't um, rip that. 
going to have to cut the leaves off a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, I love that one too. I like the label right there though, a teeny weeny one. Come to me, teeny weeny label. It's gonna do. It's gonna do because I'm in a hurry. And I can't look at every label I have. But I like it, so it's all good. Oh man. Labels are not my friend when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that one too. Okay. These and that. You know, I think I know what I'd like to do with this one possibly. Is use a Rachel label. How's that? I don't know what I have left here, but maybe one of them will work. A little too big. Does it look weird if it goes over the pocket a little bit? Definitely want one that I've already cut out. I really kind of like this one. Okay, I'm going to do it even though it's just a fraction too big. I feel like that's kind of an eclectic um pocket anyway. It's got a lot going on with its this is and that. So I have to send out Etsy orders so I'm not sure I'll get those other envelopes done today but oh you know I have to do it. Yep, here it comes. Kind stamp coming out. Yep. It had to happen. Yeah, I think that's okay. That is cardstock, though, so I think I'll art glitter glue it so that. We make sure it sticks. Three minutes, guys. I don't know that I'm gonna make make it, but we'll decorate the other ones because we'll still have time in our hour together. Okay, there's that one. And we'll be, okay. Yep, I think we better call it. We call it, and I got one, two, three, four, five done. All the way. That's not too bad. 45 minutes. Okay, so what are we gonna do to these two? Um, this one I was thinking, maybe a butterfly, let's see. Yep, gonna put that there. And I think I might want a label across the bottom. Which, um, this is the shape. I don't know if it's the color I want. But that's good if I can't find another one that's similarly shaped. Ooh, here's a brown one. A little bit bigger. I actually like this one better. Okay. Just take a look, see, see if we see anything else. Nope, I think that'll do. Twill do. 
Oh, this was fun, Rachel. I had a really good time. <laughs> Thank you for this challenge. I, you know, I... I, of course, love everything that you do, and it's just fun to do some of the, do this challenge. It's just fun. And I'm gonna end up with all sorts of ephemera and pockets and stuff by the end of it. I love it. And I figured there would be collage involved, which is always fun. Okay, I love that one too. So that one I didn't get done in the official time. And this one isn't gonna be done in the official time either. Let's see what other what other flowers do I have from that? one's a little bit lighter. I also thought about, let me see if there's one that, these little things from On The Way Craft Shop. I thought about a little, a little girl there or something, but there's none that I don't think there's any that are tall enough. Um, of course, what's a decorating session without Tim Holtz? It's incomplete, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not a complete decorating session unless you got a little Tim involved. Okay, but I need something small. So I need like a baby or something, a little kid. Well, she's stinking adorable. Um, I like this little girl too, this little. Annie Oakley girl. Hmm. That, that's the one. She looks like she's in her little tea in the garden dress. Or maybe it's First Communion or something. I don't know. So if I put that there, then I could put just a little label across there, I think. I'm going to go ahead and stick her on, and then we'll see if we want label, butterfly, bird, what we want. I'm bound and determined to finish these two before we're done today. Okay, so then I need some more little tiny butterflies is what I feel like I need. about a label. I can kind of use a thicker one. Yep. There it is. Get my butterflies out of my road. Okay. Well, that was fun, guys. I hope you had fun too. And that if you weren't inspired to do the challenge that you were at least inspired to make some of these or make some of these envelope pockets. Oh, we have a little bit of time. Awesome. Because I need to I think I need to distress around them just to be you know, just to be me. Now, you could clip a little, but I didn't think about that in putting papers behind, so I think I'm just going to leave them. 
if when I'm putting them in a book, I feel like they need a little bit. Okay, so now that looks done to me. <laughs> there we go. Yep. It's a curse. I just have to do it, though. But I don't feel like I have to... Um, I don't feel like I have to distress every piece as it goes on. Because that would take... That would take a lot longer to, to get these done. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, these ones I have to keep separate because they're my official challenge ones. Oops. My my stem's not sticking. Obviously didn't get enough glue on that. There we go. Fixed. Oh my so much fun so much fun even I feel like even the um, coffee dyed ones look better with the vintage photo around the edge okay this one I'll get these all inked and then I'll hold them up to the camera so you can see a little bit, maybe a little bit more clearly. And the last one. Ooh, that top paper looks cool with distressing. Another week done of Roxy's weekly challenge. Okay. Uh-oh. It looks like... Okay. <laughs> Here's what happened. I have an update that just flipped up on my phone. I think I'm still recording, but I can't see to show these up close. So I'm just going to kind of go like this and hope they're... Hope we're somewhere somewhere close and thank you so much i i hope this video didn't cut out if it did i apologize have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video bye everyone